Are you low in zinc? Could you possibly have a zinc deficiency? How would you know? Well, let's go through some of the most common signs and symptoms of a zinc deficiency, which is much more common than what you would think. Okay, first off, tiredness, lack of energy, exhaustion, difficulty concentrating as well can be related to a zinc deficiency. When we talk about vision, blurry eyes, blurred vision, as well as taste and smell, so that's something that you may have heard of most recently in the last few years, a loss of taste and smell related to a zinc deficiency as well. As well as dry skin. So if you're prone to skin disorders, it could be acne, eczema, a lot of rashes, that can also be a zinc deficiency as we know that zinc is integral in maintaining our proper structure of our collagen levels. So when we talk about wrinkling and of course that aging process that's happening in the skin can be related to a zinc deficiency as well. Loss of hair and thinning hair and the quality of the and texture of the hair is changing can be related to low zinc as well as a weakened immune system. And this is one of the most important things that we've heard about in terms of optimizing our zinc levels to make sure that we're keeping our immune system strong so that we can fight certain things off. Increase in blood glucose levels as well. So difficulty regulating your blood sugar, maybe weight gain can also be related to low zinc. White spots on the nails and brittle nails that are breaking also could be a zinc deficiency and slow to heal wounds. So maybe you cut yourself and it's not healing as quickly as what you would think. That could be a zinc deficiency as well. Now my tips here, if you are finding that you've got a lot of these signs and symptoms, it's not necessarily something that your doctor is always testing for in terms of being low in zinc, is to definitely increase the zinc foods in your diet. So things like pumpkin seeds are great, oysters also loaded with zinc, but also if you do need to supplement, make sure you're supplementing with the right type of zinc. There's a lot of different types out there. Zinc bisglycinate is my favorite, but I do have more information on different types of zinc. So please check out my video, different types of zinc, the best zinc. I'll see you there.